We are looking at the uh, Department of Education February March 2017 Grade 12 examination. So this is a supplementary examination paper one, and we're looking at some multiple choice questions on Newton's laws of motion. This question is suitable for both Grade 11 and Grade 12 learners. The first question, according to Newton's second law of motion, the acceleration of an object is. And they ask us question whether the acceleration is independent of its mass, equal to its mass, directly proportional to mass, or inversely proportional to mass. We know from Newton's second law of motion that the acceleration is directly proportional to the net force, and the acceleration is inversely proportional to the mass of an object. And if we had to draw a graph of this, we could show that the acceleration versus F net to show a direct proportion, we know that we would get a straight line through the origin. And to show an inverse proportion between acceleration and mass, we would get a hyperbola. Or if we drew 1 over M versus A, we would get a straight line. So we know now that the relationship between acceleration and mass is an inverse proportional relationship and that would be option D. Make sure you are able to sketch these graphs and interpret these graphs both in grade 11 and grade 12. In question 1.2 the diagram shows three blocks P, Q and R suspended from the ceiling. The blocks are identical. They are stationary and they have the same mass, but at different heights above the ground. The connecting strings are massless and inextensible, and the tensions in the strings attached to block P, Q, and R are TP, TQ, and TR, respectively. The question asks which one of the following statements about the tensions is correct, and we can see from the options that they are asking us to compare the magnitudes of the tensions in P, Q, and R. So, as always, whenever we answer a question to do with forces, we know tension is a force, a pulling force, we would always need to draw a free body diagram. And we know that there's tension force upwards on P, that's holding P upwards, and there's also the weight of P downwards. And for Q, we would have an upward force of the tension, and the weight of Q downwards. And R, we would have the same upward force and the weight of R. Now we can see by looking at this diagram that the distance above the ground is different. But because they told us that all of them have the same mass, that would mean they all have the same weight. Because weight, or Fg, is equal to Mg. The second important piece of information they gave us is that the blocks are stationary and they are suspended from a ceiling. So according to Newton's first law, we know now that the net force acting on all these objects is zero. So that means that the tension plus the weight is equal to zero. So tension equals to negative W. So the magnitude of the tension and the weight is the same. If all three objects have the same weight, then that would mean they all have the same tension. And that would give us an answer of C, tension in P is equal to tension in Q, which is equal to tension in R.